somebody stands up, and an apostle of Jesus Christ stands up with a revelation of truth, All right. they get attacked. Yeah. Are y'all staying here with me? Yeah. See, what happens with, with this deception, this deceit, this, 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 like the U.S., we have this system of racism. Yeah. It's Come systematic on. racism. Systematic. Yeah. We've all dealt with that. No matter what laws they pass, it's still in the fiber of this country. Yes. yes. And so no matter what kind of truth we come up with, Apostle, yeah. this deception's in the fiber of the church. Yes. Come on. And when, you, when, when God has called you to reveal truth, you become attacked from the religion that's in the church. Come on, sir. The problem with the deception is it, 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 it has created for us, you all stay with me now, it's, yeah. it has created for us a culture of hypocrisy. Yeah. My God. And most of us come to church, y'all ain't, I don't think y'all want me tonight. <laughs> most of all come yes. to, much of us come to church, we're hypocrites. Because we have learned to come and pretend. Mm -hmm. We can never tell you who we really are. On, we can never show you who we really are. Because you have this image of who we're supposed to be. And when we before you, we have to act as the image you portray. You, you want us to portray. Somebody say, "Amen." Amen. You know you're not as perfect as you try to pretend when you come to church. Come on, sir. come on, come on, come on. Now, now see, I, I'm an apostle. I, listen, I am. Um, I, I don't. I don't. I could care less about you being offended. All right. Because you don't know what it costs me to be here. Ah. We have to deal with these things in church so that you can have victory. Yes. The problem with, the, with, with this hypocrisy and deception is. It creates a culture, it's a lie. And what it does is, it's designed to keep you oppressed. God, I feel like preaching here. Go I'm here by ahead, myself. No, it's designed while you look good to keep you oppressed and depressed and eventually discouraged mm -hmm. and then defeated. Yes. Why are you shouting? Come on, sir. Mm -hmm. My Lord, go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. It, listen, Apostle, it's a deception, it's a system. And we keep passing it down from generation to generation, Say to that. church to church, to generation to generation. And we have our own rules on, that's sir. contrary. Yeah. I have said all the time, I don't know what gospel the preacher preaching because we have a gospel of the church and then we have a gospel of God. Come on, sir. Come on. Come and on. most of us preachers, we preach the gospel of the church because we don't want to offend you. Come on, sir. My and we need, to get, we need to get invitation to go to other places so if we can't tell nobody the truth, we got to say what you want to say so we can get an invitation. We got to say what you want to say so you can keep coming back to church. Are y'all here with me? Yes. So it, it creates a culture that, that of the hypocrisy and nobody wins. Come on. Nobody. Mm. The only way out of deception is to know the truth. Yes. My God, my God. Now let me tell you something about truth. Let me talk just a minute. Yes. I'm going to miss the game anyway, so I'm going to teach tonight. Somebody say amen. 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 You have to understand about truth, Apostle, that truth is eternal. Yes, yes it is. Can I teach y'all something? Yes, it is. Anything that's eternal is living. Yes. All right. And everything that's living is moving. Mm -hmm. So the truth of last month is not the same truth today. Yes. Good God, preach, boy. Amen. Preach it in the wheel. That's my nickname. Preach it. Preach it. <laughs> Let me say it again. Let me say it again. Okay. See, we have to understand this. The law was truth. Mm -hmm. But when grace came, that truth was, 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 was obsolete. Mm -hmm. Y'all talk back to me now. So yeah. truth is always being revealed. Yes. yes. But we don't want to deal with the revelation yes. of truth. That's why God placed apostles in the church. Yes. yes. Because the apostle is given. It is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. Yes. So apostles are designed and ordained to release truth that you never heard before. That's right. That's true. Oh God, I feel like preaching here. And what happens with the church is that's why they attack apostles and they say something like they ain't no more apostles. And the apostles are, because that's the trick of the enemy. That's the deception that they have in the church. They keep us bound up. Say it. Because how am I going to have victory if I don't know truth? That's my God. Are we here together? I'm going to get to the scripture here in a minute, but I'm laying a foundation for you right now. How are we going to have victory if we deal with yesterday's truth? With today's devils. Go ahead. Go ahead. How how is it that are we are still preaching the law? When we are up on the covenant of righteousness. Are we here? Yes, we no, are. No, don't, don't get upset with me. Because I got to go here. And I'm going to go home and eat tonight, whether you like it or not. Someone say amen. Amen. I have a sandwich home from Publix. Amen. <laughs> and I'm going to that up when I get home. Make honey maple turkey with extra oh, money. Someone say amen. Amen. Now, how is it done? How is it? <laughs> we got to have a good time. Here, here's what the deception is. We've been deceived about our salvation. We keep telling you, you got to do something to be saved. Mm. God says all you got to do is believe. Come on. Amen. Uh-oh. But we make it that, oh, your dress got to be long. 
You gotta stop wearing makeup. Sometimes amen. you gotta wear a hat. Somebody say amen. Oh, y'all let me know. Amen. 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 It, it's a deception. And I came to bring you truth. Amen. We are deceived about our covenant. How can you walk with God if you don't know the agreement you have? Come on, y'all. Come on now. I got to challenge this, Bishop. This is my assignment. How can you, I mean, you have a, a contract to build my house. How are you going to build my house if you don't know the contract? Come on, Come on. So how are we going to build a kingdom mm -hmm. and have God expand his kingdom if you don't know our agreement? Yes. That's it. And the enemy wants to deceive us so much that he wants to keep us focused on the law. Mm -hmm. When you and I have a whole other covenant to deal with. Mm -hmm. Are we here? Yes. Because the law was never written for the church, y'all. When God gave Moses the Lord out for the nation of Israel, you and I are a holy nation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people, a chosen generation. We are a whole different nation. So you got to know what your covenant is. You got to know why you are, who you are, who God is, who, what God did for you. You got to know your covenant in heaven. We have to know these things. And we're not going to get that up here talking about Moses. That's true. That's true. Moses, 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 yeah, say yeah. That's what we come to church for. Y'all, y'all better don't bother me. That, that's what we come to church for. And, 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 and if I leave here tonight, some of y'all gonna be offended if I don't hope. But take your offense now, cause I'm not gonna do it. What I'm going to do is teach you and put something in you an apostolic revelation, an apostolic explosion about the power of God. Mm -hmm. I did all that to lay a foundation to you is don't be afraid of truth. Yes. Because truth is being revealed, apostle, every day. Mm -hmm. And when you go into a ministry where you're hearing the same sermon over and over, ain't no Holy Ghost there. That's right. My God, my God, my God. Come on, sir. Come on. <laughs> Tell them love your prayer for me because I, yeah. I need somebody to put my car I feel the blow is coming. Listen, listen now, listen. <laughs> let's, just, let's just talk about the power of God. The only way, man, Jesus said, if you continue in my word, yeah. then are you my disciples indeed. Yeah. Then you will know the truth. Yeah. And the truth will make you free. Yeah. Now, continuing the word don't mean reading the Bible every morning you get up. Continuing the word means I'm reading it, I'm walking in it, I'm applying it, I'm praying about it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I'm living the word every day. I tell gentlemen love people, y'all can talk to my wife. I live what I preach. I ain't no preacher trying to make up no sermon. I'm the testimony. My God, my God. Shandai. How oh, I continue the word? Demetrius, and you know that I keep, uh, every time something comes up, I go to the word. Every time I have an experience, I go to the word. I, I, don't, I don't look at you, I go to the word. And I continue with, and it's in the experience that God reveals to me what truth is. Yes. And what we tell you in churches don't have no experiences. Mm. So if you don't have experience, how you can get something new? If you don't stick your hand to soccer, you will never know it's going to shock you. Come on. But the next time you'll know, I got a revelation. I ain't put my hand in there because that don't work for me. Let's just talk about Paul's prayer here. From Ephesians, are you all here with me? Do you all understand yes, my sermon? Because yes, yes, I'm going to challenge you on some things. Okay. And all of you, all of us in the old church leaders, I want you to hear what I'm saying to you. We have to, we have to fight this systemic deception that's going on in the church. Mm -hmm. It's keeping people oppressed and depressed. And if you pass in the church, you know that. If you want to be honest, most of your people ain't living in what God's given them to live in. For, first of all, we ain't talking about it enough. Come on. We talking about sin. We talking about the law. Oh. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I don't lost. Y'all took offering already. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can't, I, I can't preach for this because people are not give offering. Watch this now, watch this, watch this. Can we talk? Are you all here with me? Yes. I want you to hear my heart. God's covenant to you is, this is the covenant I will make with you after those days, said the Lord. I know what deception is saying. I know what the gospel of the church is, Apostle Colome. Yes. But God's uh, uh, covenant is, I will write my laws in your heart. Yes. and place them in your mind yes. and your sins and iniquities but I remember no more you can't preach that in church because all we want to talk about in church is sin so now the deception is if God not remembering sin and all we're doing is talking about sin we have been deceived Come on, come on. I'm an apostle you're an apostle we are ambassadors for Christ we have to be versed in covenant agreement 
Oh, come on, y'all. When you send an ambassador anywhere, they got to know your country's laws. That's true. That's true. So when God sent us as ambassadors, I know you read the scripture when Paul said we're ambassador for Christ. You say he's talking about everybody. No! He's talking about apostles. Come on. Yeah. Come on.